Good evening and welcome to Cabinet Roundup. I'm Nathalus and I'll be doing quick fire summaries of cabinet releases this election. Late last night, the Conservative Party released their cabinet list. Only one party is left to release theirs and that is the Liberal Democrats. Hopefully they do that before the debate tonight. As your leader and your person in charge, you have Michael J. Kane. He's also running for Chancellor. Although Michael has been in politics for a long time, he hasn't really got any cabinet experience. This raises questions in regards to his ability to lead the whole government. But similar to Ryan, is he able to maintain the Treasury with no one below him to help him? First Secretary of State and Secretary of State for for Foreign and Commonwealth Affairs, James Aitchison. Interesting to see him back, actually. Last time he did that, he decided to leak the King's speech and decided to blame it on everyone else but himself. No idea why, in such a small cabinet, they have decided to have a First Secretary of State anyways. Seems like just another title for the man. For Home Secretary, you have Monkey Reese. I think he's the only capable candidate on this cabinet list. His length and experience in the Home Office from serving in the Met, also previously serving as Home Secretary, I would even say he's the best candidate for this position across all the parties. In Iticus Op 4, another inexperienced person running for the Ministry of Justice. I would just repeat that having no experience within Parliament is the worst place to start off. I don't jump into, don't jump into cabinet positions straight away. You'll just end up failing, especially in the Ministry of Justice, where it's constantly writing legislation. I've personally done some sniffing around, and I haven't been able to find out who Sniff Guy 04 is. Although he claims to have some experience in Northern Ireland, I think his complete lack of experience across the board shows his competency to be in Cabinet. And although, as I said in previous episodes, that Northern Ireland is quite an easy position, you still need to know something about Parliament to even get involved. And finally, you've got the British Union. Lead as leader of the House of Commons. He's a good guy, got experience, he's made good contributions to the House. It's not also a hard role to fit into. Maybe he would have been better as First Secretary of State or Secretary of State for Foreign and Commonwealth Affairs. Definitely be better than James Aitchison. But he needs to be, he need, if he wants to be great in the leader of the House position, he needs to bring some unique policy to the table. I'm Nathalus, and this has been your third episode of Cabinet Roundup. That's me, over and out.